Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the new Halloween season. Yeah, I was waiting for so long to start this season. I'm really excited every time the Halloween comes around. So as always, this October is going to be full of makeup tutorials, full of special effects tricks and looks and monsters and things so I think I have had to put a, a, a warning trigger just at the beginning of the video because I know that this type of effect these holes it triggers so many people kind of anxiety and other type of effects so just be warned we're gonna be doing holes this in this makeup so what I create today is kind of a big infection. We don't know if it's internal, something of a virus, something spread on the air. We don't know. It's a it's a infection. So this infection came with these enormous and awful holes in the face and the face. And to create this effect, I create two different ways. So you can choose whatever you wanna follow or you feel more comfortable following. For one side, we have this area, which is a prosthetic I create. I have a link below on, on the how to create prosthetics that I done a long time ago. And with, you know, creating your own prosthetics and all of that. So this is what we're gonna be doing here. This holds very, very still and is very tough touchable doesn't move and it stays on until you remove it and and this area right here I created something a little see easier a little on the spot is uh, with modeling wax a little bit of latex and that's it this is easier you don't have to go all these process but this doesn't last as long if I right now just pressure a little hard it will melt it will disappear the effect so just bear that in mind I give you two options both has pros and cons so you decide so let's get started with this first Halloween makeup tutorial for this 2018 and I hope you like it well guys let's get started it's been very long time since the last time I record these voice voiceovers so just bear in mind if I have a little bit of like it's stamping on my words and all of that so we're gonna be using this prosthetic that I created with the mall I'm gonna leave a link below where you can like follow the leads that I'm doing to create it We'll need the prosthetic, the prosthetic and some Q-tips. Going to be applying this prosthetic on the back of the prosthetic that we have measured where we wanted to put. And then we're going to be placing on the face. And once it's placed, we're going to add the rest of the glue, which uh, we left it empty on the borders. And it's easier to apply that way. And then after we apply the glue on the borders, we can add an extra layer on just on the borders of the prosthetics into our face. As I told you, this is the second way to create this effect. We're going to be using modeling wax, Maastricht, which is another glue, and hand cream to be able to manage the, the modeling wax, which is very sticky. Add some on your hands and start modeling. Then we're going to be applying the latex, the, um, sorry, the mastic, and then tap it to activate it. And then we're going to be placing the wax and using once again the hand cream on our hands to blend the borders into our skin. You can use also a spatula. And then once everything is blended out into the skin, we're gonna be taking a different brushes with different handles, um, thickness of the handle. I'm gonna dip it on the hand cream and start creating holes 
or the different shapes and the different ways and the entire area. I'm going to be using liquid latex to apply all over both of the areas on the prosthetic just on the border and the other effect in the entire area. We can speed up the process of trying the liquid latex by using a blow dryer and a cold setting and then we're gonna set in everything with loose powder this will make effect of uh, more mattifying on our the rest of the effect so it's good to apply a little bit of setting powder before we starting with the colors I'm going to be using very thick high coverage foundation, this is Dermablend by Beachy and I'm going to be applying all over the prosthetic and also the head effect and I'm going to be applying slightly on the rest of the face and neck. For the coloring, I'm going to go for cream colors. I'm going to start with a dark pink shade and apply with a very fluffy blending brush that is still small. I'm going to be applying each of the holes and as you can see, out of mine, that goes a little up into the border of the hole. It actually is better to, to happen this. Now I'm going to be taking a smaller brush in this brown red shade and start adding a little more depth and definition with this color in most of the holes, mostly on the deepest one. Now let's give it a little more vivid effect. I'm gonna go for a vivid red and apply it again with a smaller brush and a bit more details. And once again, I'm gonna be not in all of them. I'm gonna be just jumping one to another. Let's go and give some depth. I'm gonna go for a brown with a more an eyeliner brush, a smaller. I'm gonna be adding a touch of this brown in the deepest and biggest hole, and I'm gonna blend it a little bit with the reddish shade. This touch gives everything a bit more ish. I'm gonna go for white and I'm giving just the tiniest bit of touch in some of the darkest or the deepest hole. This actually makes me cringe. Well, actually the next step is the one that it makes me very, very cringe. I'm gonna go for a just clear Vaseline and with a Q-tip and start adding this moisture effect into the holes. And once I apply this, uh, really, it makes me cringe.
Next and last step is making everything a little bit more cohesive. For that I'm going to go for the darkest pink and start adding some kind of infection effects around the, uh, uh, the effects we create and also the face. We're going to uh, add in a little bit of this uh, kind of irritation around the eyes, the mouth, the nose and also a bit on the neck. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial, our first Halloween 2019 makeup tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, you can leave me a comment requesting any looks, any character, anything that you want me to recreate. But bear in mind, I have tons and tons and tons of makeup done already on my channel. So if you're looking for something in particular, effect in particular, character in particular, just go ahead and check them out because maybe they are already done and you don't have to wait for me to do it. Otherwise, if you don't find it, just leave me a comment requesting whatever you feel like you wanted to be dressing up this Halloween or whatever you want me to do and you want to just see. And as always, you can at least uh, see the list of products that I used on the bar below. Thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any of my tutorials and as always thanks so much for spending some time with me be happy see you next one bye yeah he has his dog